Unusual developments have been taking place in Proxima Centauri, our solar system's nearest neighbor, which is only four light years away. Scientists have discovered strange signals coming from Proxima b, one of its planets years distant. What do these mean? The mysterious light observed by an incredibly powerful telescope in the proof could be in one of those pictures. We must establish that another planet exists. There could be signs of life throughout the universe. Welcome back to Theory of Science. Today we'll look at whether James Webb Telescope finds life beyond our solar system. Shh. For more such interesting topic videos, do subscribe to our channel. The most powerful telescope in the world has made its first observations of a planet outside of our solar system, ushering in a new era of astronomy in which other planets can be searched for signs of life. James Webb Space Telescope, operated by NASA, has taken the first direct pictures of a planet outside of our solar system. A gas giant planet without a rocky surface is HIP 65426b. They also offer the first unambiguous proof of carbon dioxide in another planet's atmosphere. That is orbiting a far-off star. James Webb's primary objective is to examine the atmospheres of far-off planets and look for biosignature gases that might point to the existence of life on the planet beneath. It is most likely tidally locked, with one side always facing the star and the other always shrouded in darkness, as a result of its close proximity to the star. In 2011, astronomers saw a modest, recurring dimming of the host star light that they determined was the result of the planet transiting in front of it. The most recent research takes things in a step further by measuring how much starlight is being filtered by the planet's atmosphere. It is possible to identify the specific gases present by analyzing the rainbow of starlight since different gases absorb light at different wavelengths. In earlier Hubble and Spitzer discoveries, carbon dioxide had been suggested, but the most recent observations, which will be published in the journal Nature, offer the first concrete evidence. The most powerful telescope in the world, floating around one million miles above Earth, will study a variety of distant, undiscovered planets orbiting faraway stars using its enormous mirror and ultra-sensitive detectors. Twenty years ago, there were no known planets outside those of our solar system. But since then, more than 4,000 more planets, also referred to as exoplanets, have been discovered orbiting other stars. According to NASA, the cosmos may contain trillions of exoplanets. Is there a possibility for extraterrestrial plant life? Let's check it out in this video. If you've liked the video till now, please do like and subscribe to the video. The first hint that life exists outside of our solar system could come back from extraterrestrial planets. The Galileo spacecraft turned its equipment back towards Earth when it was en route to, uh, to Jupiter and found a definite indication of the presence of plants. A mix of red and infrared light reflected by plants, known as vegetation red edge, biosignature was detected by the instrument. For example, if an Earth-like planet is covered in a jungle, it should produce a strong VRE signal that should be simple to detect. The VRE of far-off Earth-like planets in the habitable zone close to stars will be measured by the JWST. There could be important signs of life in the exoplanet atmosphere. When sunlight crosses the face of an exoplanet star, the JWST can detect it as it enters the atmosphere. The light's missing wavelengths would then be discovered by via spectroscopy. Atoms and molecules in the atmosphere absorb specific wavelengths, creating a characteristic fingerprint that the JWST can recognize. By doing this, it is able to evaluate the atmosphere's composition and possibly make inferences regarding the likelihood of life. It is possible that life may exist on planets the size of Earth if they had an atmosphere similar to our own, mostly composed of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Looking for the presence of compounds that don't happen to arise naturally could help detect technological life. Chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, which were produced for use in cleaning products and refrigeration, would likely be visible to aliens observing Earth's atmosphere from a distance. A civilization might be present, according to Jacob Hakmisra of the Seattle-based Blue Marble Space Institute, if the JWST discovered CFCs in extraterrestrial atmospheres. According to New Scientist, researchers intend to utilize the space telescope to someday examine the atmospheres of planets that are similar to Earth and discover more about life's existence elsewhere in the cosmos. According to Jesse Christensen, an astrophysicist at NASA, Exoplanet Science Institute who is not involved in the study, finding carbon dioxide in combination with other gases like methane may, in the future, be a reliable sign that a planet is a home to live. Scientists are interested in learning more about our own planet in addition to worlds outside of our solar system. Webb really enhances NASA's other solar system efforts, such as those satellites encircling the planet Earth, on the ground, and in deep space. 
we can create a more comprehensive image of the objects in our solar system with the use of data at various wavelengths and from many sources. Webb will study Mars, the major planets, dwarf planets like Pluto and Eris, asteroids, comets, and Kuiper Belt objects, as well as the smaller worlds in our solar system. Webb will be used to conduct research that confirms the findings of Mars rovers and landers and will aid in our understanding of the trace organics in Mars's atmosphere. Webb's views of the outer solar system will be combined with Cassini's observations of Saturn to improve our understanding of the seasonal weather on our large gas planets. As for asteroids and other tiny bodies in our solar system, Webb will be able to see some features in their spectra that Earth-based observatories are blind to. Webb will assist us in learning more about the rocky object's mineralogy. Here ends today's video. Comment below with your thoughts on whether you believe that an inhabited exoplanet will be found in the upcoming months. Please do like, share, and subscribe to the video. And to get notifications of for new and upcoming videos, hit the bell icon. Check out our channel for more interesting videos.